now sitting to hear the case of the District of Columbia et al. versus Theodore Wesby et al. God save the United States in this honorable court. Representing petitioners, District of Columbia, are Will Lowry and Amanda Quinlan. Representing respondents, Theodore Wesby, are Brian Fuchs and Miranda Jensen. Good afternoon, Madam Chief Justice, and may it please the court. My name is Will Lowry, and I, along with my co-counsel, Amanda Quinlan, represent the petitioners, the District of Columbia, and Officers Parker and Campanelli. It was very neat to be able to argue in front of the Vermont Supreme Court and the Vermont Supreme Court justices. It's really hard to, to anticipate the types of things that they're going to ask because in the past we've mooted with other students or professors who maybe think about the cases a little bit differently than a Supreme Court justice. Well, especially because I'm interested in pursuing litigation, it's very important to be comfortable in a courtroom and also comfortable asking questions, thinking on your feet, knowing what it takes to know a case inside and out and what law supports it or does not support it. Here to Mally v. Briggs, we're in the courtroom that qualified immunity extends to all but the plainly incompetent and those who knowingly violate the law. I think it's really great that the Supreme Court devotes time to this competition every year. They seem to enjoy it and it's nice that we get to go back into chambers with them after and get feedback from them and it's a great opportunity for all students if they take advantage.